We begin today with sleep, or the lack thereof. Sleep disturbances have now been linked to headaches, high blood pressure, chronic fatigue, TMJ, daytime sleepiness, even heart disease, and ADD and ADHD in children. We talk with Dr. Gerald H. Simmons of the Sadler Clinic Sleep Disorder Center in the Woodlands and Comprehensive Sleep Medicine Associates here in Houston about common sleep problems. There are a lot of common problems that will affect somebody's sleep. The main concept to really convey is that when something's disrupting the quality or the continuity of your sleep, it can impact how you function during the day. A lot of disorders, such as chronic fatigue syndrome, which baffles a lot of different doctors as to what causes this, we now know that a lot of these individuals have disrupted sleep. Things are disrupting the continuity of their sleep, resulting in non-restorative sleep, and people have fatigue throughout the day. Of the various things that can disrupt the continuity of sleep, obstructive sleep apnea is one that many people have heard about. And you think about people that stop breathing during their sleep. That's the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole spectrum of breathing problems that can disturb the quality and the continuity of your sleep. In some individuals, a person's just working harder to breathe. Their airway is partially blocked. They're still breathing, but they have to put more effort into breathing. The increased effort of breathing can disrupt the quality of their sleep, resulting in them having fatigue the next day. One of the most amazing things that we've come to recognize over the last few years is that at night, when a person's not breathing normally, the brain in many individuals will try to prevent the breathing problem. And what it does is it clenches. The brain will tell the jaw to clench and that will bring the jaw forward, the tongue forward and opens up the airway. People are clenching in their sleep to protect their airway because if they're not clenching, they're having obstructive breathing. This can lead to TMJ and pain that the dentists are seeing. And patients are waking up with headaches and this uh, TMD or TMJ disorder. By treating their obstructive breathing and opening up the airway, we stop the necessity for clenching and their symptoms go away. I had severe headaches and the headaches were where I, I, I couldn't get out of bed. My jaw pain and with the TMJ and, and the, the nausea and um, I could not sleep. And so um, anyway, they referred me to Dr. Simmons' office and found that the uh, TMJ was linked to the sleep apnea. And it was just a puzzle piece that was out for the last 25 years and found that the TMJ was linked to the sleep apnea. And I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm, I'm feeling much better. I'm rested. Uh, normally I wouldn't uh, be really fatigued at, you know, two o'clock in the afternoon and now I'm just rocking and rolling. It's clearly recognized now that when a person's not going to get proper sleep, it's going to affect how they concentrate during the day. And there are a lot of people, especially kids, that have been diagnosed with ADD or ADHD that actually have a sleep disorder as the underlying cause. A lot of times these children have difficulty with their breathing. They have something similar to the obstructive sleep apnea condition, something that's called the upper airway resistance syndrome. That's where there's a partial blockage, making it a little bit harder to breathe, and that decreases the quality of their sleep, and it results in them having difficulty focusing and concentrating during the day. By treating the child's breathing at night, we can improve their ability to concentrate, and we've eliminated in many children the necessity for stimulant medications. Before I was treated, I was having a, a hard time focusing at school. I was um, fighting with homework, and I was tossing and turning in my sleep, and I was having nightmares and night terrors. Now I'm making all these and B's. I'm doing good on my classwork. I'm not fighting with my mom at homework, and I'm not having nightmares or night terrors anymore. Now that we know that treating her breathing helps her sleep, now it's a matter of focusing on orthodontics because the orthodontist can help open up the airway, widen the hard palate, bring the mandible forward, and then the goal is to get the child off CPAP once the orthodontics are complete. The CPAP machine, in the beginning I was a classic uh, male. I hated the thing. I disliked it so much I wasn't sure I would ever actually be able to use it. However, about five or six months ago I, did, I finally did a follow-up visit. Shouldn't have waited that long, but I did. He changed, gave me a different mask. And that different mask is what basically allowed me to actually start getting the full advantage of the sleep. We asked Mr. Harris how his life has changed. 
My life's completely changed. I'm, I'm not getting, uh, I could certainly go where I need to go. My memory has improved. Uh, my energy level has improved. Uh, I don't have, I don't forget people's names. I don't fall asleep at red lights. I don't fall asleep when I pull in parking lots. Uh, I'm able to, you know, I wouldn't say I'm 20 years or even 30 years old again, but uh, my energy level and my ability to function, he has probably not been this good in, in 10 or 15 years. If you look at what we knew 50 years ago and what we know now regarding sleep, it's amazing how much information we've accumulated. There's actually a field of sleep disorders medicine that focuses in on this topic. And when you take this knowledge and we apply it to patients nowadays, our future is so much more promising because we understand, for example, cardiovascular disease, how it develops during the night when someone isn't breathing properly. So by making an intervention early, before we have heart failure and high blood pressure, we can actually prevent or decrease the occurrence of stroke, high blood pressure, heart attacks. So cardiovascular diseases can be drastically improved by treating somebody's sleep at night and improving their breathing.